lamp oil. Rope? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. So we're doing this again. Chat, it's commercial time. Uh, this may be the last commercial time. Classic game commercials for a long time. I know I've been saying that, but we had a part two. And I needed to finish it, and I wanted to do it. We're going to do it. So, Mr. Flipnote um, submitted a bunch of commercials and some poops. We're doing less poops today, but also more. It's hard to explain. Uh, but you know what? We're going to start with something Pokemon related, since Pokemon is so... Let's just say it's everyone is uh, stealing Happy Meals from children right now because of Pokemon. So, um... I wonder if this gets claimed. I wonder if this gets claimed. What if Team Rocket's treacherous tricks catch all the action each day right here? Pokemon, weekday mornings at 6.30 on Fox 43. So there you go. Um, little promo. How about this promo, though? You've been selected to receive the sneak peek about a phenomenon called Pokemon, a hit TV show, a Game Boy game, and Gotta loads claim of other cool things all. that are about to take America by storm! So, this was a VHS. At Pokemon. I never had this VHS. It all starts with the TV show, September 7th. My nephew, Ash, he just turned 10, is the show's star. Huh? His dream is to become a Pokemon master. Is this master. canon? Pokemon? This is no easy task. First of all, Ash has to capture all of these little Pokemon things. And they're pretty tricky. Each one is <laughs> totally different from the other. And are you ready for this? There are a hundred and fifty of them. Um, honestly, if this was my first exposure to Pokemon in any way, shape, or form, maybe I wouldn't have bought into it. And you gotta catch them all. Catch em, catch em, gotta catch em all. Gotta catch em all. Pokemon! Wait, there's more! Well, there's Brock. He's a good guy. Ash challenged him once at the gym in Pewter City. Oh. But now they're buds and they're on the journey together. And then Team Rocket, they're bad, really bad. Hey, Jesse, have you seen... Who? I was glad to find out that Ash's first Pokemon was in fact little Pikachu. And, okay, Pikachu doesn't like being transported in the Pokeball, and it doesn't <sighs> talk much, and when it does, all it can say is, Pikachu. I feel bad for this actor, who probably was just looking to get some, like, decent work. Don't be deceived. These little chicks unleash <laughs> electric potential and electromotive forces equal to the difference of a constant current of a thousand amperes when the power dissipates between points. Well, let's just say that little Pikachu can zap you. What I like best about Ash and Pikachu, though, is how they bonded. Loyalty. <laughs> now, there's a quality you can't teach in the classroom. It's Who's still... It's, <laughs> it's got an early 90s feel to it. To to even though it's late 90s. But it got burned to a crisp by one of Pikachu's electrical volts. So now she's on the journey with them. But I don't see the point. Misty doesn't need Ash. She's got skills of her own. You should see her do battle with her water Pokemon. She really knows her strategy. She's <laughs> even brave enough to take out Team Rocket all by herself. That's a lot of the Pikachu strategy. Pokemons you got there, friend. To become a great trainer, Ash has to capture all of these amazing Pokemon creatures. And that's tell why he's tell got me to their know names. In order to catch them all. Gotta catch them all! Oh, God. That's why Professor Oak gave him his first Pokedex. It's the newest model with the latest digital technology that will give Ash instant Pokemon information with greater clarity and better reception than ever before. Duh. Hmm. I need to upgrade my model. I am Dexter, personal Pokedex programmed by Professor Oak for the exclusive use of Ash Ketchum. Why is a Oak talking? Huh? In the making. My oh. function to illuminate and educate the young beginner to the ways of the Pokemon. My data banks contain all available knowledge currently on file for the. No, 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 I wasn't sure that, um, I thought Oak was talking. 150 known species. 
with many more Pokemon still to be discovered. I know this thing talks. I watched the show. <laughs> I did a little bit. Fire element monsters. This is a Pokeball. In the world of Pokemon, 10 year olds are eligible to become Pokemon trainers. Imagine that. And when we were kids, we were like, wow, 10. I like the fact that capturing a time to go off into the world on your own at the age of 10 and fight monsters with monsters. Do I think he's got what it takes to be a Pokemon master? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I think Ash can cut it. Ash is... he, he can cut the cheese. Ash can cut the cheese. <laughs> this is amazing. I've never seen this. I love this. I thought this was going to advertise the games. Chat, you will be quizzed on all of this. I have that. Yo, I showed that on my video recently. There you go. I have my, my box for Pokemon Red. What? I can exercise with oh, it. I remember that. Gifts, even watch it sleep. Wait, do you wear it as a lapel? No, there are 150 Pokemon out there. But is there really one more adorable than Pikachu? <laughs> I don't think so. This is a Pokemon strategy card game. Playing this card game can help you finesse your Pokemon training skills. Look at the back of the cards. What the hell is that card back? I'm Wrong. Hang on a second, what is that card? Also, the water energy is not a misprint. I have the misprints, chat. That water energy is correct. That's the Japanese one. Oh, I thought I was smart. Turns out I was the fool. I can't wait for the comic books. Stay tuned. You gotta watch Monday through Friday starting. If only they know uh, knew how big this show would actually get and game and everything. For the Pokemon and bootlegs and station. And comic books. And sneakers. Oh, that must be the and Simpson and crossover. Watch out for it too. Ten poker cars will be cruising around giving away lots of free stuff. Did anyone go to a poker car? They are on your computer. www.pokemon.com Remember, it's about a couple strategy. people in chat are gotta saying they all. did, and I kind of believe them. Remember, you gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. I wonder if that stuff is like worth anything. Like, is that rare? Anyway, that was extremely nostalgic, even though I've never seen that before. Let's let's continue the Pokemon stuff because this is interesting, and and I'm in a Pokemon mood a little bit because of the cards. Is this Burger King gives your kids one more chance to catch their favorite Pokemon characters. To celebrate the video release of Pokemon, is this the stuff that was making people choke? Oh no! Okay. Pokemon and Burger King, one more chance to catch them all. Never mind. To protect the world from devastation. Unite all people. That was oh, that was the McDonald's. Extend their reach to the stars above. It's a weird ass commercial. I half expect to hear Chris There's Martin sing the song. Pokemon, and it's to protect the world from devastation. It was Burger King that had the uh the, the things. Right, right, right. Okay. You've conquered red. You've mastered blue. You've triumphed over yellow. You've caught them all. 
And now, you're ready for the next step. Welcome to the world of Pokemon Gold and Silver. Tons of new Pokemon, new adventures, and worlds to explore. New badges to collect. So you've got to ask yourself, have you got You feel lucky, punk? Is? Pokemon Gold and Silver ready to eat for everyone. I've got to catch them all. I still don't remember any of these commercials, just so you know. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on here. <laughs> Someone said, did your parents ever tell you that Pokemon were evil Japanese demons? No. They didn't care. It was banned at school, though. It's a catchy song, chat. I thought this was a YouTube poop. Shake things up with Pokemon Pikachu 2. The more you shake it, the more Pikachu will do for you. <laughs> Get me so dumb. Trade lots and shake it up with friends. Pokemon Pikachu 2. I guess that makes me want to buy a Pokemon Pikachu. No. Nope. Which Pokemon has bumpers and flippers? All of them. Introducing Pokemon Pinball. Now with its own rumble feature. I didn't have this. Color. I only had Pokemon Red. Like, I seriously just fell off of Pokemon almost immediately. Was that Batman? <laughs> I fell off of Pokemon almost immediately. Introducing Kraft Pokemon Macaroni and Cheese! Yo, I bet this was good. Six new boxes, each with six of your favorite Pokemon shapes. Pikachu, Meowth, Poliwhirl, Jigglypuff, Squirtle, and Charmander. Each macaroni and cheese tastes like its respective Pokemon. Wow. What if you woke up one day? Whoa. And you were just, what, a Bulbasaur? All right, cool. Thanks. Nice commercial. Is it here yet? No. Is it here yet? Nope. Is it here yet? No. Sorry, Squirtle. Is it here yet? No. Is it here yet? No. Is it here yet? Let me check. Was that Kylo Ren? No. Oh, never mind. Is it here yet? Pokemon Stadium 2 will be here on March 28th. Until then, $10 reserves your copy and gets you a collector's edition poster with tons of Pokemon. So you'll be ready to battle with your gold and silver characters in 3D. Cool. Seventy dollars. Thank you, friendly announcer. No. Rated E for everyone. What if you woke up one day? Whoa. What? And you were just uh, Squirtle? I wanted to get the joke right, chat. Joke, quote unquote. And you were a Pokemon. Oh. Whoa. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team coming September 18th. Rated everyone. Never mind then. Whoa. Incorrect yet again. Whoa! Come on! We got rescuing to do! Introducing the newest Pokemon. You, for the first time ever, Toto Dial? Battling Pokemon Did I get a Toto Dial card, Pokemon chat? Did Blue I say that I got one? Only for Nintendo DS. I think I got a Toto Dial. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Recently. Team, also available for Game Boy Advance. Oh, I did. I got a Toto Dial. It was a hollow card from um, my <laughs> my allergic to Apple Happy Meal. Uh, very nice. Okay, so hang on. Uh, so there's a. I think we got this one. I'm just gonna get all the Pokemon out of the way because it's in its own category. So why not? Luki. Hello, Mario. Why is this so dark and edgy? Oh, there's a GameCube. I didn't even know about that chat. I don't know. XD. Look who's back. And 
this time, the two of you are partners in the latest installment of the Pokemon Saga. I like when they mix the cartoons with real life, like Roger Rabbit. That I enjoy. Boy color, where it's you and Pikachu catching as many as you can together. Look for the Pokemon Yellow Bundle Pack. It includes a limited edition Pokemon Game Boy and Yellow Game Pack. Even though those Pokemon are probably dead now. So here's YouTube poops made by Mr. Flipnote for these particular commercials. Why not? Now I have different methods of making these, so these could be kind of different. In other words, I turn off the Squidward. Ash challenged him once at the gym. Took her bike to get Pikachu. Um, <laughs> cool things that are about to take a Size with it. Okay. I mean, the YouTube poops are now tradition. Whoa, friends? They're tradition <laughs> with the commercials chat. I did less personally, though. I, I kind of grouped more uh, commercials together. And the better trainer, you can help you finesse your poke insert technology that will give Ash electromotive forces equal to. I'm learning so much. What am I learning, though? Pokemon. You can't teach in the classroom. His first Pokemon. Sega! Wrong Ninten Nintendo. Wait, <laughs> No, man. It takes real skill. <laughs> hey, Jesse, did you see that meowth go by just now? Remember. Did that cat just speak words? You piece of shit! <laughs> Pokemon TV Showtime and stay. Misty met Ash when he took her. And they won more adorable. <laughs> what? Think skills. And they really won more. Ten year olds are eligible. She is. I feel like I'm taking crazy. Become a great trainer. I'm Ash Ketchup. A book. <laughs> Playing this card game. <laughs> Here, so there's no use crying over failed capitalism. <laughs> Again? Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. So I do have the commercials part two of last time that I'm sure you'd want to see. And I will show you these things. But, um, but first, do you remember this commercial? Mmm, meat. Soda. I envy the people in chat who have never seen this before. Yep, N nothing makes me want to consume this slop more than a dude turning into a fucking snake. The Burger King Triple Lover! You like a snake! Sure. If you say so. Here you go. Here's some more commercials. If there's a repeat in here, I apologize. But here's some more commercials. This is part two of last time. If you're not playing on a 3DO system... Sorry about the volume. It's gonna happen until I, you know, I'm able to lower it. What are you playing with? 
Presenting 3D oh, you did see this one. Right, right, right. Okay. This was last time, right? So I didn't delete this one then. It's time to put away your toys. It's 3D. From Panasonic, Gold Star, and Creative Labs. Okay, so then how about this one? Son, life isn't all about money. Nah, family, health, happiness, those are the important things. I guess what I'm really trying to say is, how much will it cost to keep this from your mother? $39.95. That's all you need for these super cool Nintendo 64 games. Uh, all best sellers and all players' choice. Hey, at these prices, maybe you can get two. Grandpa? Wait Yo, Nintendo, what the fuck? Thanks. Adventure is on the horizon. Stanley's going buggy. Mario Brothers have their hands full. And Donkey Kong's going ape. It's <laughs> rough seas for Popeye. And Snoopy's got to get on the ball. But you can help if you got Nintendo games. <laughs> Fuzzy memories, Todd TV. Power. Widescreen or multi-screen games you can play indoors or out. They tell you the score and even the time. Their pocket power, their game and watch. 14 and all, only from Nintendo. So it says Nintendo, right, in the song, but then he says Nintendo. I witnessed news tonight. <laughs> He's the beast you loved on Super NES. And now we've captured him on Game Boy in an all-new game with all-new enemies and worlds. Donkey Kong Land, new for Game Boy and Super Game Boy. I said that last time, too. Probably. Did I... Uh, these are different... <laughs> These weren't from last time, right? These commercials? We're getting into new commercial territory, right? Okay, cool, thank you. So then we're good from here on out. Oh, nice. Nice bootleg, like, outsourced 3D models for Mario Kart. Introducing Nintendo Score 64 and win at Taco Bell. Just peel the coin off the lid. Score 64, and you could win an N64 system, cash, or millions of other great prizes. And who knows who'll win the Porsche Boxster? It's Score 64 and win. I don't know, would you Taco Bell. rather win the N64 or, or maybe the Porsche? Hmm. I don't remember that at all. N64 with Beetle Racing, please. Warning. Such behavior is irresponsible, immature, and very foolish. We recommend you try it at home. Paperboy from Mindscape for your Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> Weirdly enough, that kind of looked like a 90s commercial. Oh, that's a, I like that commercial. That's a good one. You cannot steal our Pokemon! Who will save the Pokemon? Gotta save I guess we have more Pokemon. Gotta save them all. You can save the Pokemon. Gotta save them. Gotta save them all. Some Pokemon what, by putting them in the little prison in balls? And you need to snag them back, make them good again, and train them for battle. Pokemon Coliseum, new for Nintendo GameCube. Rated E for everyone. Jesus. Yeah, go. Here's what you do: you go protest, and then you go put the Pokemon in little ball prisons. <laughs> that's a good. That's good. GameCube. That's nice. Um. Don't no. Look at this. They're gonna kill them. There's a bowl of fun inside every can of Heinz Pokemon pasta. It's your favorite Heinz. Pokemon characters as fun shaped noodles. What does this and shit taste Heinz like? Is, is this Chef Boy RD type Pokemon shit? Can you catch them all? Can you eat them all? Uh, I'm good on that. I to pass. Imagine parents seeing this for the first time here. They're like, oh, is that a, is that the ACDC singer? 
and Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire, only for Game Boy Advance. Rated E for everyone. There's a theme here. It's a lot of uh, Poke abuse, I've noticed. So, you want to use your gold and silver skills in a 3D world? Well, here's a thought. Now you can get Pokemon Stadium 2, the only place you can upload your Game Boy Pokemon on your N64 and battle with over 250 characters in 3D. Oh. You've got skills. Save them for the game. Pokemon okay. Stadium 2, rated E for everyone. Why does he talk like this? Oh, that's the late 90s for you. Early, early 2000s. That was just the time. Dream of battle ease over this place. Aha! It's a battle for destiny. I'm a little disinterested in this commercial. A battle for... But this one, the announcer is very interested. The place to prove you're the ultimate Pokemon trainer. You can upload your Game Boy Pokemon onto your N64. Then, for the first time ever, battle in 3D. Then, a conquering hero is raised to victory. This is only a couple year difference from the N64 era to the GameCube era. You go from battle your Pokemon to, hey, do you like uh, Pokemon? Yeah, me too. Well, if you want to check it out, you can, I guess. I don't really give a shit. Pokemon Stadium. Oh, I should have disabled that one. Fuck. God damn, what's the name of this? Oh, it's Sparta. That was the one. <laughs> you try it at home. Inside <laughs> every Thanks, O'Brien. He <laughs> loves the commercials. Hello. I want to tell you. Do you want a service? 20th of. Family. Help. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yep, that's what they are. <laughs> you bet. You cannot. Why would it sit on this? Oh! <laughs> that was pretty good for YouTube poop. All right. Hey, what do you got there? The video game has over 200 games. Cool, 200 games? That's I bet right. they're all great too. Look at it. Can be yours with How could it not be good when it looks like that? Computer game history. 256 action-packed games all in this one compact unit. And with 15 skill levels for each game, there are more than 2,000 ways to play. Yeah, I'm sure they're this balanced. TV offer, great. You can get the Pro 200 for just 19. 2,000 ways to play. Per game. play oh like fuck baseball, off. Ping pong, race car, shooting attack, and much more. Oh, race this car though. Computer chip technology replaces older cartridge games forever. Never ever buy those expensive cartridges again. Wow. Pro 200 with over 200 games for only 19.98, a fraction for of what ever. you pay for those older systems. But that's not Though to be all. fair, this Pro was the time Nintendo probably should have adopted CDs, but that's a different story. In stores. Here's how to order. For fast delivery of Pro 200 with over 200 computer games call 1 That's amazing. That is absolutely insane. How awful that looks. <laughs> looking for this looks fairly I recent i can't watch this anymore Stop. there's an easier way we compare your progressive direct rate to other top companies so you get a great price this no is like too around. recent to be considered nostalgic wouldn't you love to see the world through his eyes for me i look like the strongest man in the world the best place to find a great deal now that's progressive call or click today yeah that's only like Eight years ago? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. Hey, Rats? what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? I'm listening to cheese. Oh, fuck, a sewer what rave. Hell yeah. Cheese. <laughs> I've heard that one before. Hey. You probably can only listen to cheddar. No, you can listen to Swiss, provolone, American, shop, whatever you want. 
Shut up! Yeah, I know, it's crazy, it's cheese, you Muppet can listen Rizzo's to Rizzo's cousins. Outside. PSP, it's like cheese, you can listen to outside. What? We're fucking Sony on crack? That is the Morphoray, and that, of course, is Jerry. Uh, the Morphoray is used in Ratchet and Clank to turn your enemies into chickens. No, no wait, before you do that, just explain to me how it's gonna work. I like the rats, though. They were, they were cool. Jerry's a chicken. Are you sure we can turn them back? Jerry? <laughs> The Morphoray, one of 36 weapons and gadgets not fit for this world. Rated T for T. There it is. I'm talking about Ratchet and Clank a little bit lately. This is Rayman. Oh, and this is a man called Ray. Rayman is the oh, I remember this. Adventure game Rayman 2. Ray is not. Rayman can shoot, swim, swing, fly, and even water ski. Ray. Oh my not. God! Unlocked Rayman memories. Friends and enemies in dozens of epic worlds. Ray has a sister in Florida. So, remember, it's Ray Man, not Ray. Ray Man That's a good game. That's a good game. Um, yeah. Danita Stokes, president of HAG. Oh, Sega Genesis really torques my snooty. Now you get a free 16-bit game when you buy a Genesis system. What? Oh, look at this Powerball from Namco. Vicious tackles and spin kicks in a futuristic arena. I'll take croquet at about this street smart. Nintendo and Sega had, had some very interesting commercials back in the early 90s. sandwich for you, mister. You want real fun? Try macaroni art. Self-portrait. Get one of these games uh, up to a $70 value. Okay, yeah, well, no, I'm on board now. You got me. And so it was, late in the 20th century, that a pox fell upon the land. A plague of home videos that were limited in intelligence. There was brain drain, and terminal boredom <laughs> swept the countryside. The maker looked down and was not pleased by what he saw, and said, this is not... Oh, good. this is a Sega does what Nintendo don't commercial? And so it was, he brought forth Genesis, a system with twice the power, twice the intelligence, twice the challenge, twice the Yo, I gotta fun. be honest, I kinda have brain drain right now. Only a chosen few were called forth to experience this new dimension of high definition graphics and stereo sound. And the makers saw what he had done and said, now that that's not bad. Well, where's the girl with the Discovery hammer that's going to hit the screen? And your world will never be the same. It kind of, it's not a Sega does what Nintendo commercial, but yeah, it's a very, uh, it's a take on the 1984 Apple commercial. So, yeah. Sega At least in, in the same ballpark. The ultimate video game, the Sega Master System, with twice as much memory oh, yeah? as any other video No game. hands! Advanced video technology like scrolling backgrounds, graphics and scrolling backgrounds. Colors, digital sounds. <laughs> Imagine advertising that as a feature. The 3D, the Master Se Really? 3D? Well... To be fair, though, that sound, the... Ah! was probably really impressive for its time. I mean, I remember the NES, like, anytime you heard, like, in Punch-Out, or um, any game that had digitized sound, it was all crusty, but it was like, wow, that's amazing. Lean it in. It's movie time! Wine! Well, the production value here is, is pretty high. I wonder if they just... Is that Jack Black? Oh no, never mind, it's not. What the hell? I wonder if someone still has these pig costumes. is the other end. Mega CD. So Budget John Candy. Mega Drive. That's a real pig. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Who came up with these concepts? Uh, okay. I don't understand either, but I like the production value of that. There are lots of good reasons to go with Sega Saturn instead of Pretendo. Pretendo. <laughs> Sega Saturn has tons of them. Pretendo has just a few. Oh shit. <laughs> Bogus! <laughs> Bogus! Loser! Nice subliminal messaging! Oh. It does beg the question Do you want to play or twiddle your thumbs? Face it, Pretendo. You weren't worth waiting for. Holy shit. <laughs> That was incredible. I feel like I've been programmed. Um, when does my sleeper cell code word get announced? I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll know it when I hear it. Let's compare Sega Saturn's games to games on Plaything. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Play what? Games on Plaything. Plaything. Sega has a long history of creating true arcade games. Plaything's maker has no such history. Can I see that again? Who, wh th these commercials are incredible. What the fuck is this? Oh, I hate it. Sega Saturn gives you arcade graphics and gameplay that could only come from the power of three processors. Plaything has only one processor. Sorry, Plaything. You're not worthy. <laughs> Someone's face cut through the bottom of the crib. Yeah, pretty much. You know what, though? If you compare Saturn to P PS1 graphics... Oh, that that's a hell of a shot. Um, It's really... I don't care how many nuclear fucking reactors it has. PlayStation's a little bit better. Visually. Just saying. They really went for the kill. I mean, by the end of it. It got a lot better because developers knew how to utilize it. Uh, Sega sadly never got that chance. Sega Saturn. Oh, this is bad. Let's play Guess the Product. Sly Cooper, he's oh. one cunning, devious, oh, okay. like Kunis, rid of for everyone. Why not a couple of pictures and then go home? Anybody you recognize here? Nah. Huh? I don't hang out with animals, man. I don't want to Which one is he? Does this ring a bell? Which uh, one? <laughs> you sitting here lying to me, wasting my time. You're a liar, and I know you're a liar. Get me here. Is it this one? I don't That's know good. One, huh? Sly Cooper, he's one cunning, devious, devious raccoonus. Ready to for everyone. That's good stuff. <laughs> I like the monkey. Sly Cooper has some good fucking commercials, damn. What was that all about? <laughs> Sly Cooper, he's one cunning, devious, thievious raccoonus. Good to for everyone. Yeah, those are, those are good commercials. I like those. Um, <laughs> now it is time for more YouTube poop. Enjoy! <laughs> value free plus altered beast when you buy processors. <laughs> Gadget's not fit for this world. Ray is Nancy here. Let's compare. The people who gave the money to make Mr. Rogers' neighborhood are the people of this and other public television stations. What? The Sears Roebuck Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Which one? You sitting here? Swore, ping pong, race car, shoot. That is too bad. 
Excellent. All totally normal now. Everything. Caroni art. Self portrait. I really wish I would have remembered to turn this off. Holy shit, it's annoying. What? Whoa. Did he say. Um, yeah, Lincoln Park. Probably DMCA. Okay, well that was a that was a hell of a thing. Um, continuing on. We've got some more commercials. Say your prayers, Farmit. Mm hmm? Mmm, chili. Be this. Hey, look where you're going! Darling! Run wild with the Animaniacs in Hollywood on your Sega Genesis and Super NES. Collect props and scripts before Pinky and the cool. Brain take over the world. It's Konami's Animaniacs video game. I give it four stars. I give it five. Okay. Listen up. Sonic 2 is here with ten levels and a fresh new half pipe. A casino zone, his new buddy Tails, and blast processing. Blast. Which makes him faster than ever. With awesome new graphics, the new split screen lets two play. And a spin dash that can be startling. I love doing that. New Sonic 2 for Sega Genesis and Game Gear, each sold separately. Man, that was a that was a big boost. I think I remember this. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yelling at hedgehogs, the commercial. Oh, good. Well, at least there's that. It's Groundhog Day! Sonic 3 is coming. Look for the oh. shadow! On Groundhog Day. Let's make that Hedgehog Day. The day just keeps repeating. Did you see the shadow? Uh, it's the first the instance of save states in gaming history. Oh, it's like stop motion, claymation. Nice. This is a good commercial. This is a crusty commercial. But yeah, there's some some good stuff in there. It made sense. I got to know the character Starting a bit. Starting today, you will believe and ass this fat <laughs> can fit into a cartridge this small. I'm not fat. I'm getting in shape. And this this was just what they used to advertise this? Because South Park is under attack. This game was so Ooh, mediocre. Naughty. Make love, not war. Move along. I bought on your grip. Hey, stupid. I'm over here. South Park, Such a bizarre game. take on the on the series is to do a fucking Turok esque first person shooter that was just mediocre at best. But all right. Rated everyone. This just in. Then battle for bikini bottom will not be fought. There's this. Help SpongeBob. I streamed the remake of this once. To take down bikini bottom. SpongeBob SquarePants. The battle for bikini bottom now available on your favorite game system. I streamed the Spang. It was pretty good. Stores closed. Not for me, pal. You might say I'm Spyro's hot coaster. I love that little dragon. The way he blows fire shaped like me. This is an official protest. 
This is appropriate, considering I finished Spyro yesterday. Genghis, come! What'd you say? You're toast! Help me! Damn, that was a cool animatronic. Once upon a time, that's there was what that a was. young dragon named Spyro. He journeyed across enchanting worlds to rescue other dragons from the spells of Nasty Mork. After battling Nasty and his minions, Spyro brought peace back to the land. Spyro to me, this is just a good game commercial. Country, and everyone lived happily ever after. Not that feisty lizard burned herds of our sheep. Cool. <laughs> okay. Good animatronic plus mostly gameplay. That's good. To fight Spyro and his head butting, sheep burning ways. This isn't just a video game. It's a Spyrocracy. A double advertisement here. See ya. Sheep fucking de destroyed, trampled. Someone said that there's a making of video of how they did these commercials on YouTube. Boycott Spyro. Boycott Spyro. Sure, he looks like an innocent dragon, but he breathes fire. He's napalm on four scaly legs. And he headbutts. Just look what he did to me. <laughs> what? No. Mm, barbecue. Ow! What'd you do that for? Mmm. <laughs> barbecue. Attention consumers. Certain portable gaming systems are being dressed up in order to distract the buyer from their ordinary one color play. What oh, could be shit. Little it's a hit piece, chat. Oh, shit. Yo, is that a gimp outfit? Don't be fooled. Sega Game Gear. Basic black the fuck the Game Gear? Hundreds of exciting full color games radiating from the inside. And we promise no sleazy little get ups that scream, Hello, big boy, get Game Gear. <laughs> the Gimp Boy. Um, but the good thing they advertised their cool system with one hour battery life using Garfield. Now I really want to get that game. Cool, blurry Garfield sounds like a great time. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, you just been invaded by the honey monster. There's a free Sega Master oh, Challenge that's a cool set. game in every packet of sugar puffs. They feature uh, top Sega characters and there are eight to collect. Rock and roll job. Prehistoric man? Or I don't know who that is, but... God, can you, like, stop cutting the camera so much? Like, can, 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 just, like, keep the camera in one place for, for a second. Oh, that was Chuck Rock. Chuck Rock. Chuck Rock was in um, Nick Arcade a lot. I forgot about that. Come on, Mario. Come on, oh, Mario classic commercial. Oh. I'm kind of surprised they didn't use actual Mario 64 music in this. Want to grow? The calcium in milk helps bones grow. Wanna grow? Oh, I couldn't sound more disinterested. But yeah, I remember that commercial. That was, uh, I like that one. Big Milk paid for it. This is the new voice of Mario, confirmed. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. More good either claymation or just whatever stop motion. I'm not sure how they did that, but I I, I like it a lot. It's a good commercial. Um poops three. Game I'm sorry. Loud. Which 
God damn it. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! The fuck is that? Chill out, what she yelling for? It's just under the amount for DMCA. Sega Master Ants. Oh shit, that's good. Let's make that hedgehog. You will boo. I love doing that. New Sonic Jiggling! Scary legs. Hatsune Miku. Is <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right, hey, I was okay at the end there. Um, let's uh, let's finish this up. Tetris two. Tetris two. Tetris two. Honestly, the irony here is that Tetris 2 didn't quite blow up like the first game did. It's not just Tetris. Now challenge the system or go head to head. Different shapes, different shades, and this time there's Yeah, you can't you can't do different shapes with Tetris. Tetris 2 on Game Boy or NES. You, you just, you know, it doesn't work. And there's another dig, Mikhail. The kids kids these days. Aye. Tetris, Schmetris, all the time is Tetris, Tetris, Tetris they want to play. <laughs> Tetris, Tetris. And it's not just in Russia. All over the world is Tetris, Tetris. Whatever happened to the unicycle and the ball? That... You know what's weird about this fucking commercial chat? I have to pause it for a second. The Tetris, Tetris. My cousin used to say that. And I never knew why he would say that. So I'm aware of this commercial not having seen the commercial, but because my cousin would say it from the commercial. This just blew my fucking mind. Wow. This ad was animated by Marv Newland Studio in Vancouver is inspired by Russian cartoons like Hedgehog in the Fog. Man, I've streamed a number of uh, Russian cartoons on Sunday stream. Those things are good. <laughs> Puppets, fuck yeah. <laughs> there he is. He's only in the game a little bit, but that's okay. That's that's a good commercial too. I like that commercial. I like puppets. I like practical effects and like you know, stop motion and puppets and shit. So that's cool. Okay, so your folks may act a little weird when they see you've got. Yeah, I don't know. I want to see some of the in between frames okay, there. So folks <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so you're full. They act a little weird when they see you've got Stimpy's invention, the new Ren and Oh, these are going to be good. The new Ren Chances are one of these will end up being the thumbnail. And uh, I'm more than okay with that. The new Ren <laughs> Stimpy games for Sega Genesis. So tell him it's the only game where Stimpy's mutatomatic invention explodes and warps the town, spreading giant flamingos and twisted lawnmowers everywhere. And you can be Ren or Stimpy and team up for crazy cartoon powers like the boomerang and chopper pipe. Oh. Hey, it's cooler than powdered toast, man. I just hope there's none of those disgusting. Disgusting what? Airballs? Oh. Stimpy's invention. New for the Sega Genesis system. Each sold separately. Good morph effect. Hey, time to load up on PlayStation games. Greatest hits are on Sega. 
crash Someone said, why do all these narrators sound like Fox Mulder? <laughs> but I don't even have a PlayStation. Nice, golly. You do now. Oh shit, polygons. Mom know about this? Who? Oh my god. From the shores of Maine to the California coast, Tomba has captured the hearts of Americans. <laughs> Maybe it's the way he swings and climbs, or defeats the evil pigs and man eating plants. Or maybe it's the way you and Tomba conquer them all. Together, Tomba loves you. And by golly, America loves Tomba. How well did Tomba sell? Sorry, Tomba. <laughs> Just checking. I'm the new TurboTouch 360 controller from Triax. I'm nope. the ordinary video. Fuck that thing. I don't even want to see it. Next. Family computer no シングルス、ダブルスの本格テニスをコンピュータと技比べ。5段階のランクが楽しめます。ピンボール。迫力のフリッパー。スロットマシンのスリル。ポーカーゲームの興奮。ビンゴの面白さの全てを結集したピンボ
The fuck is this? <laughs> what was that? What was that? No! No! And here's all of the commercials and some poop. And called Ray. Ray. Chimps will. Sonic 2 is. The fuck is this? Why is there so much of it? Okay, I don't even know what that is. To top Sega characters in the. Nice. And so it was, late in the t Not Ray. Triton! Run by Goblin. Pokemon. <laughs> it went back in. Coast, man. I just took their son of those. No, don't do it. Oh, America good. Jerkass! Good. Nothing even here. Nothing even here. Long way. New Brigade was our squash scene. Brigade Rayman 2. A free <laughs> Get a free button. Chat, do you want a free button? Oh man, the worst part is I actually do have more. Um, like, um, Mr. Flipnote made more poops. But I, I don't really, I don't think I want to see these. <laughs> Yeah, I add the secret sauce chat. I add some extra videos. I spice it up. Um, I'll tell you what else I have. I have some, just some other stuff. You know, nothing too crazy. But here, here's, here's a couple more. I'll show you like two or three more commercials that I have in the more folder. For the Mandalorian. The most ruthless bounty hunter the galaxy has ever seen. Star Wars bounty hunter. Rated T for team. No problem. What's my motivation? You're a bounty hunter. You hunt bounties. Got it? Okay is it supposed to be a George hunter. Lucas impression? You're a bounty hunter. You hunt bounties. Got it? Yeah, okay. I'm a bounty hunter. I've got it. Great. Let's try it again. Now this time, uh, do a little faster, more urgent. Remember, you're a bounty hunter. Right, right, right. Got it. Faster, more intense. But who's the bounty? Yeah, does it matter? Oh, well, I guess not, but, uh... Yeah, we'll put them in later. You know, CGI. Yeah, use your imagination. Do I have any dialogue? <laughs> nope. You're a bounty hunter. You don't need dialogue. Ready? Yep. Ready? Okay, right, right. <laughs> ready, ready, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> That was pretty good. Um, that, that was a good George Lucas impression. Uh, there's just a couple more. I'll show you like like this one. Oh, I'll just pick a couple games that seem interesting to me. Oh. Oh. Kirby has been around for 20 years, and he's finally developed the perfect six-pack. Whoa, not that kind of six-pack. This kind of six-pack! 
Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition with six classic Kirby games lets you experience the best of Kirby with 20 years of adventure, fun, and of course, eating. What Kirby's the Dream fuck? Collection with six games, booklet, and music CD. It's desynced pretty bad Only too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Everyone, ten and up. Yeah, it's lagging for me too, chat. Si vous tentez d'acheter n'importe quel micro ordinateur, vous risquez de vous retrouver tout nu. Avec l'Amstrad PC 1512, compatible avec qui vous savez, tout est compris. L'écran, l'unité centrale avec 512 cas de mémoire, le clavier et la souris. Jusqu'au 31 décembre, Amstrad vous offre pour le même prix un traitement de texte, une base de données relationnelles et un tableur graphique. Amstrad PC, le micro ordinateur professionnel qu'il vous faut. Amstrad PC. Why was there a naked man at the beginning of this commercial? I, you know what? I'm not gonna ask. Lorsque le monde se transforme devant vous, uh, lorsque des formes géométriques remplissent oh. votre horizon, lorsque vous croyez avoir des hallucinations, to be fair, that is an obvious autres, pitch. Pas de doute, vous avez été tétrisé. That did look like Patrick Bateman. Like seriously, that was that, that dude is wearing straight up American Psycho fucking outfit. Yes, people really dress like that. Yeah, yeah. I have to return some videotapes. Touche écoulé électronique où tu veux, quand tu veux, une seule envie, gagner. Jeu électronique MB, impossible de décrocher. Lynx d'Atari, vous branchez quatre joueurs. Lynx d'Atari, un seul reste vainqueur. Lynx d'Atari, ça vous dévore. Wow. Lynx d'Atari, un son tellement canon. Lynx and France is là. Qu'on s'y croirait. Lynx d'Atari, ça vous dévore. Wow. I, I like the skeletons. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, is there anything else here? Let's see. All right, here you go. It's lagging, and I don't know why. This commercial has been over. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, here. Okay, one more, one more, for real, one more. Every single day stress comes in every way and got no time for nobody. My style is rich, though fat and rich. We'll make a cake today that looks rich. Crack, crack the egg into the bowl. Crack, crack, crack the egg into the bowl. They're all lagging. The rap of the rap, the great new music video game. We're making us a cake that you've never seen before. Once you played it, you can't get it out of your head. The other day, I was called a little turkey. They just started lagging. It's fine. It's 3.52. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, chat. That's about it. I think we're good on commercials for a while. Uh, there's, you know, looking around here, there, there's like a couple more. But we're, we're good. We don't need to do more. I stand eternally humbled by your glory. You can always tell who's been to the party. Mario Party 3. New characters, new adventure boards, and over 70 new minigames. You and your friends might want to get some rest. Mario Party 3, ready to be for everyone. Okay. Yep. Here, have have a bonus materials. This is a theatrical ad. Did I show this one already, chat? A fly. I'll have a mutant fly. Hello, Yar. You'll need some protection. Ion zone. Enjoy uh, this. Coma. Intensify. Okay, now you'll need some weapons. You have a formidable enemy. 
the Kotile. Watch it, Yar. He has a lethal drone. And some other tricks up his sleeve. Spiral. Go. <laughs> Sp oh, Good Spiral. Week, now I have a surprise for you. A Zorlon cannon. Use it, Yar. Fire again. Honestly, if I saw this in the movie theater in the like, early 80s, I might have been kind of interested. Yeah, this can be fun. This can be a lot of fun. Even though my eyes would, would hurt. Get him. Do it. Beautiful. Watch it. Disintegrate. Now let's go into deeper space. Tronic map. Sector 11. Hyperspace. Sights in. Cylon warships attack. You think this dude had to practice and memorize all this choreography? Star Raiders. That's it, Star Raiders. That'll keep them on their toes. <laughs> Maybe he just. Oh Let's God, do we really need fucking? See what we can come up with next. We're Atari. We have the vision. I guess that's kind of before people realized what photosensitivity really was. And they were just like, yeah, yeah, graphics. Fast colors. Wow. That is, that is amazing. Imagine ending that ad with this and like thinking like this is going to be a huge success. We got the license to ET. This, this led to the fucking video game crash of 1983. <laughs> well, uh, this is a perfect way to end the commercial segment. I think we're good on commercials for quite a while. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed. This was a couple good ones. Even if I've never seen these commercials before, I, most of them, uh, they were entertaining and also just kind of a look into not just the past of the way video games used to be, but also what we used to be and how advertising was. And you know, it's like really just a little slice of life in a bunch of bizarre video game commercials with puppets, Muppets, Scruppets, and uh, Clay. Absolutely insane.